thank you. We got to make it personal. We're here to make things personal. Also tonight, welcome home, Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Protesters taking their message to the mayor's doorstep as he prepares to return early from vacation. The deadly police shootings of this weekend of Betty Jones and Quintonia Legreer adding to the group's anger over recent police killings. Protesters spent hours outside of Mayor Rahm Emanuel's home in the Ravenswood neighborhood tonight. That's where CBS 2's Audrina Vegas joins us live now. Audrina. Ron, protesters left about an hour ago here. They tell me they were here to give the mayor a not-so-warm welcome back to Chicago and to make sure he knew what happened while he was gone. Oh, Steps away from the mayor's front door in what neighbors say is usually a quiet neighborhood. Who gotta go? Who gotta go? Chants heard loud and clear on North Hermitage in Ravenswood. At the top of their list of demands, Rom's resignation. Rom Emanuel is a criminal, so he shouldn't be mayor. The mayor came home early from his trip to Cuba in the wake of the deaths of Betty Jones and Quintonio Legreer, who were shot and killed by a Chicago police officer over the weekend. Those deaths prompted this protest. We wanted to welcome him home, let him know that a 55-year-old grandmother was killed by coming to her doorstep innocently. And if we wasn't out here protesting, them two murders would have got swept under the rug and it would have been covered up by Rahm Emanuel as well. It's the same group of protesters that organized the Black Friday protest on the Mad Mile and Christmas Eve demonstrations. Their message to Rahm? You're still not going to make us stop protest just because you came back and you want to say, I'm sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. It appears people not a part of the protest were showing support by dropping off coffee and pizzas as protesters waited for Rom to get home. When they think he arrived, the chants continued. Paramedics showed up several times here at the mayor's house. That's because protesters say they kept slipping on his unshoveled sidewalk. But still, despite that, protesters say they do plan to come back tomorrow. They're also planning protests for New Year's Eve and Martin Luther King's birthday next month. Live in the Ravenswood neighborhood, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News.